Hi, this is Ed Martin, president of Phyllis Schlafly Eagles, and we're here to do another fact check of this Mrs. America series that FX has done streaming on Hulu. Listen, I need you to go to realmrsamerica.com, tell your friends, uh, subscribe right down below, share this, pass it on. We got to get the truth out because uh, we're midway through this series and they're just not telling the truth in Hollywood. They're, they're really spinning, they're really lying, and we've got a lot of work to do to break this down. Today, we're going to break down how Mrs. America is trying to rewrite history. With, with history in front of them, they can see it. They're rewriting it anyway to try to make the feminists look good and positive and upbeat and all the rest. Let's take a look. You know, Mrs. America decided to you know, use history. There is a famous debate between Fred and Phyllis Schlafly on one side and Mark and Brenda Fastow on the other side. It was a big deal. It was uh, quite a thing. And it really played out as, as a big pivotal moment because you'll see on the original video, which we have in our archives at the Phyllis Schlafly Center in St. Louis, you'll see the reality of what happened, the history of what happened in black and white, actually in color. And what Mrs. America tries to do is put into Hollywood Technicolor just lies and lies and lies. You know, the, the, um, when you break this down, I think you'll be surprised but there's even more there. But let's start. Let's look at this first clip. First, let me introduce Brenda and Mark Fasto. Brenda Feigen Fasto is 30 years of age. She is a graduate of the Harvard Law School, the uh, full-time director of the American Civil Liberties Union's Women's Rights Project, and a strong advocate of the Equal Rights Amendment. Her husband is Mark Feigen Festo. He is 31, also a graduate of the Harvard Law School. He is a lawyer uh, and is now putting together a book about male sexual stereotyping. Uh, on the other side of the issue are Phyllis and Fred Schlafly. Mrs. Schlafly, a housewife and mother of six, is the head of Stop ERA, a national organization which opposes the Equal Rights Amendment. Mr. Schlafly is a lawyer and he strongly supports his wife's efforts. Now, I am told that uh, Mrs. Schlafly ran for the Congress twice in the state of Illinois That's right. and lost both times. Uh, she thanked all the people who voted for her and her husband thanked all the people who did not vote for her. <laughs> right, Mark, yeah. I'm Mark. Uh, yes, uh, Tom, right. So the ERA has been ratified by 33 states so far. Uh, it will have to be ratified by 38 states. And that's two that have rescinded. But the states really aren't able to rescind. Right. So the first thing is to acknowledge the truth, which is that women are discriminated against. Well, I don't acknowledge that at all. Well, then I'll just lay out my version of the truth. So before we get into that, I, I, I would like to give Mrs. Schlafly and Mr. Schlafly an opportunity to enumerate what they think this amendment means. You know, the setup of this debate was pretty great. You'll see there, at least it was factual, there's these two couples. They have real dynamism. You know, uh, Brendan and Mark Fasto, uh, law lawyers, and, and uh, they have, uh, you know, a profile in their feminist movement. And, of course, Fred Schlafly, very well-known, successful lawyer, and Phyllis. So that's good. But then they show at the very beginning as if it's true that this Brenda Fasto is, is nailing all these points. It's actually the opposite. When you see what it was like when the debate started, Brenda Fastow is fading into the furniture. She's, she's not coherent in her arguments. And the feminists here in Mrs. America try to say, look how strong she was and how Phyllis was not. Watch, I'll show you how the exchange really went. Let's look. Now, the Equal Rights Amendment has been ratified by about 30 states, give or take a couple. What is the actual number here? 32 or 33? 33. 33 states so far. That's two that rescinded Nebraska and Tennessee. But states really aren't, aren't able to rescind, so... Before we get into that, it will, <laughs> it will have to be ratified by 38 of the 50 states. That's what the fakers in Hollywood are doing. It's really despicable. You know, these, these people that think that they're doing something noble, Kate Blanchett's doing interviews about how she came to understand Phyllis Schlafly, this isn't noble. They think that by making feminists look prettier and smarter and more dynamic, that they're doing some service they're actually deceiving the viewers. It's dishonesty. And let's see what else Hollywood got wrong. Watch this. And then we'll come over to this side and you can say what you and Mark think it means. Is that okay? I'll say what I think and Mark will say what he thinks. Okay, everyone will say what they think. All right, fine. Here we go. Mr. Schlafly. Well, under the ERA, the poor girls would have to support the family 50%. Well, but, now, but, 
wouldn't we be getting something for that? Uh, first we Tom, well, perhaps. Uh, uh, let, let me just say, the ERA would uh, impose a doctrinaire equality on men and women and take away from women some of the most important rights and privileges they now have by law. And that's why we think it's a fraud. Can you give us an example of what you mean? Well, uh, for example, uh, under our current system, uh, in a case of a breakup of marriage, the mother gets the children. Now, uh, who wants to trade that in for a so-called uh, equality, whereby each uh, parent gets one child. The ERA does not say that in the case of divorce each parent gets one child. Oh yes it does. It says you have to interpret things absolutely equally. Well what if she has one child? Would it be cut in half? Oh, <laughs> oh well you, you can joke all you want. <laughs> Phyllis Schlafly was debating the ERA for more than two years before this debate. Do these Hollywood scriptwriters, do they honestly think she was an amateur, that she didn't know uh, what she was talking about, such that she needed an invitation to, to give examples of what was wrong with the ERA? Come on. These scriptwriters, they seem really amateurish, or they're trying to mislead us. Now watch what happened in the real debate. This is unbelievable. Watch a master debater at work. Watch Phyllis Schlafly at work on this clip. Now, I want to ask somebody here to enumerate the provisions of the ERA. And since I introduced you first, Mr. Schlafly and Mr. Schlafly, let me have you enumerate what you think this bill means, or, or elucidate what you think the bill means, and then we'll come over here and you can say what you and Mark thinks it, it means. Is, is that okay? I'll say what I think and Mark will say what he thinks. Okay, everybody will say what they think. All right, fine. Here we go. Well, the Equal Rights Amendment would impose a doctrinaire equality on men and women, and that's why we think it is a fraud, because it will t actually take away from women some of the important rights they now have by law. Uh, for example, it will take away a women's right to be exempt from the draft and to be exempt from combat duty. Uh, it will take away the right of a wife to be supported by her husband in a home provided by her husband and her right to have her husband support her minor children. It will impose an equal obligation on the wife for the financial support of her family. In addition to that, it would wipe out all of the protective labor legislation on the books, uh, which is very necessary and of benefit to working women who work in industry and do manual labor. See that? The real Phyllis Schlafly, she was ready with a whole list of examples of how ERA hurt women. And most of the reasons that she listed right there, one after another, they were never addressed by the Fastows in the debate. I've watched the original video of it. And they certainly weren't, those reasons weren't addressed in Mrs. America, the series. Now, defenders of Hollywood, they'll say, well, you have to cut things out of a series. And Mrs. America, they couldn't cover everything for the sake of time. Well, if that's true, why they have to make up stuff? Watch this clip. This is totally made up. It's fiction. Watch. I mean, the courts uh, would decide, as they did uh, with a recent uh, Washington, D.C. case, where three children were given to the father and the mother had to pay child support. What I mean, was the crazy name of the case? That was an advance for women. But the, in, the larger issue is that the ERA erodes the institution of marriage, not Cite just in the divorce. Case. The case? Well, I'd have to look it up. But the point is... You don't is, know the name of the case? Well, there's so many cases. We don't have time to cite them all. Just cite we don't the have one time case. to cite them Just all. Just name this one case. And the point is, if everything must be equal, then the logical extension of the ERA is that we would have a gender-neutral society. You have scared the women of America into believing something that is not based in reality. But when you argue an actual point in the real world in a court of law, you need to cite a case to support your argument, so cite the case. Well, I think it was Foley versus Langham or Lancaster, something like that. No, there is no such case. Oh, yes, there is. But you see... Did you just I, make up the I'm case? not a lawyer. No, <laughs> I'm the wife of a lawyer. And I really do think that's more fun. Well, and listen, I, I doubt we're going to get to agree feminist. on this at all. There is no doubt. The fact, on, fact I mean. is, there is no Foley versus Langham case. Also, a fact is that you are not really a housewife. It's pure fabrication. It never happened. There was never a moment in these debates where Phyllis Schlafly made up a case, not in the Fast Down debate, not in any other debate, because Phyllis Schlafly really knew her stuff. Now, what happened here is Hollywood completely spun this around to try to make Brenda look good. Well, in reality, Fred Schlafly called out Brenda Fastow in the debate in an amazing moment because Brenda was making things up out of thin air. Watch for yourself on this clip. Uh Many lending institutions count a woman's income only for half of what it is if she is married and between the ages of 20 and 44 and cannot show that she has been sterilized. Okay. 
That that goes for banks, that goes for department stores. Are you saying that they inquire if women are sterilized? Absolutely. There's Absolutely. any place that does that. There's any place that does that. What I would they like to ask, no. they ask also you about name, the you name of one birth place control. that does that. They, they do. Just they tell us name there one. Are, Give me the name of one institution that does that. I'd like to. I'd like to continue. There's a bank in Queens. I'm not going to name the no, name. No, you're not. Right. I don't. I'm, I'm I don't think there is. A, I've never heard of one. Yeah, um, but this wouldn't be a plug. If there is any institution okay. in this it's, country that does stop. that, it then becomes a major news event. Which, we if that, that is the case, I can guarantee you, okay. will be a front page story on even the New let York me, Times. Let me just let me just lay it out. I mean, this is the truth. Let me just, let you just give there us the name and address of that place. There are horrible. <laughs> I mean, Fred Schlafly demolished Brenda Fastow because he caught her in a lie, and even the the host was sort of on Fred's side and said, well, it didn't seem to make sense. But the Hollywood liberals, they act like Brenda was the one that uh, did so well and that she did that to Phyllis. Fred did it to her. You see, these series like Mrs. America and others, they're not based on true facts. They're just propaganda. Fred and Phyllis Schlafly, they had a loving marriage of 43 years. There, there wasn't people who investigated her background as part of interviews and, and, and trying to put her on the spot, even her biographer. They never found anything that looked anything like what this series trying to do. If Kate Blanchett, who's spent her big career and stature and lots of money to do this series, if she thinks otherwise, she should come to St. Louis. She can go to the Phyllis Schlafly Center's archives and she can see the videotapes of the debate and all the different moments in Phyllis's life and Fred and Phyllis's life together. And she could get a sense of that. In fact, if she comes to St. Louis, I'll personally let her in, give her a tour, show her all this wonderful documentation is. Until then, if Kate Blanchett doesn't want to tell the truth, she might as well be writing for Saturday Night Live. That's what it looks like, that's what it sounds like. It's a joke, and that's all that she's good for if this is what she thinks is the right thing to do. Leave the history of Kate Blanchett to professionals and stop writing, rewriting the history of Phyllis Schlafly. We'll continue to bring you the truth about Mrs. America. Please like and share and subscribe right here and make sure to pass this on to your friends. We gotta get the word out about the truth of Phyllis Schlafly, the real Mrs. America, and fight the uh, Mrs. America propaganda that's been growing. Please, again, go to realmissamerica.com to find out more, and I'll talk to you again very soon. Thank you.